in the United States and Canada to help the survivors of Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. Local volunteers held donation boxes to chemists for money outside of shopping malls. And in the Philippines, over 100 volunteers took to the streets to raise funds in hopes of helping disaster survivors return their lives to normal as soon as possible. With the Filipino government finally granting city volunteers a permit for on-street fundraising, today over 150 Chinese and Filipino volunteers have gathered in Manila to canvas for donations to help those affected by Typhoon Haiyan. Holding their donation boxes, the volunteers work side by side in Manila's Chinatown to raise funds. We have mobilized over 100 volunteers, which include local volunteers from Marikina City and other areas. They are all happy to be helping fundraise for the typhoon survivors. Seeing the city volunteers dedicating themselves to helping their fellow citizens, local residents stop by to contribute their love. Such kindness and good deeds were also seen at a local traditional market. It's 6 in the morning here at the traditional market in Manila, and city volunteers can already be seen fundraising for high-end typhoon survivors. Countless vendors and shoppers contribute their share. I have been through a similar experience, so I feel that I should help. A disaster survivor fleeing Tacloban was very touched, seeing us fundraise for the affected residents in Tacloban. Thanks to the assistance of city volunteers in the Philippines, relief items and emotional support will be delivered to the survivors one day sooner. Meanwhile, in the United States, Dallas city volunteers have also been mobilized to raise funds for the Philippines. For us living in an affluent country like the United States, it is hard to imagine what the disaster victims are experiencing. We hope that everyone can do his or her share to help the less fortunate. From last week, Dallas city volunteers have already started raising funds in 13 different locations. Other than Filipinos, people from different ethnic backgrounds also seize the opportunity to contribute their love on behalf of the survivors. We are even thanking your group for coming down to uh, Dallas to collect money from us or to collect gift, whatever it is, to give to people in Dallas. And we are praying for them, that God will console them. Thank, Thank you, you very much. As well, Canada City volunteers also took to the streets to canvas for donations. Their charitable event lasted for six days. In Canada, we have mobilized around 500 volunteers to raise money in 24 different locations in a six-day fundraising event. It's a tremendous devastation, but it's tremendous to see people such as the, the Suji Foundation who are there bringing rice to those people, uh, helping them uh, with medical supplies, uh, with doctors, uh, to be able to take care of them in the midst of that first crisis period uh, when they are most vulnerable. It's just tremendous uh, looking at the great work that you do uh, around the world. At the other side of the Pacific, city volunteers will pay the love forward to the disaster survivors in the Philippines on behalf of the residents of North America.